Happy Thursday. The beauty and the curse of the think. You know, it's <laughs> just to be trapped in the thought, the obsession. I mean, it truly is a gift to be able to think, right? To, to be able to deduce, to be able to fantasize, to be able to create. Um, but it, <laughs> it can all go very wrong. Um, when, I mean, at least for me, when, when a thought gets compulsive or obsessive and I can't get it out of my head or I isolate and uh, I trap myself with my own voices and, you know, I then have a more difficult time discerning which is the positive voice and which is the negative voice because then they both sound the same and they're both telling me very different things but for some reason I always begin to believe the negative voice that seems like that seems like the positive voice I maybe it's just me um, which is fine uh, so getting you know um, adjusting my perceptor in the morning and uh, doing my best to root myself in gratitude and um, and get focused for the day. Get present, get centered, and uh, I guess on in some on in some uh, ways, I have to remind myself in the morning which is my negative voice and which is my positive voice and then sometimes all throughout the day I've got to be like oh yeah like that's not the right voice to listen to because given the right amount of time and the circumstances I get I'm dyslexic so I get dyslexic and listening to what I need to listen to within my own brain and the thoughts get all muckled and jumbled and uh it's, it's not a fun place to be sometimes. Uh, but I'm, I, I'm so grateful that, that I know that this is just the way I operate. Um, and I don't have to give tons of credence to it. And it just, it just is. Uh, and I can see myself out of the tunnel. Mostly because this, I've been here before and I know that I can, uh, bounce ideas off of friends and uh, um, and they could be like oh yeah you, you're 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 going down crazy town so um, I don't know happy Thursday much love